Thanks, and thank you. And uh, we will continue to monitor this story very, very closely. Uh, thanks, Katie. Uh, we're live right now to George Logajanis, the Metron uh, sentencing, uh, and uh, all kinds of people talking and reacting to this. Let's uh, find out what Sid Ryan has to say. Hi, George Logajanis. Hi, and thanks very much. A quick bit of context here was uh, Christmas Eve, uh, December. 24th, uh, 2009, when four migrant workers, five actually, were up on a scaffold, 13 stories up on a West End high rise doing some work. They fell to their deaths. One of those men survived. Uh, today, the company, Metron, and its sole owner, Joel Schwartz, and another company that actually uh, owns and operates scaffolding, were uh, put to trial here today, and uh, a verdict came down, a sentence. Uh, the Crown was looking for a million dollars in retribution for the family uh, the victims, of, uh, the family members of those victims, but uh, uh, $200,000 was what the uh, the judge uh, imposed. Now, this is Sid Ryan, president of the OFL. Can't put a price tag on life, Sid, but uh, is this any measure of equanimity and justice for the families uh, that, of these victims? I don't think so. Um, I think this was a, a disgraceful decision, to be frank about us. Um, you know, we are asking for, the Crown was asking for a million dollars. Um, the law actually provides for incarceration, and I think that's what should have happened. This was the worst accident from a health and safety standpoint in the last, uh, you know, 40 years. And uh, we needed this strong signal to be sent out to every employer in this province that if you're criminally uh, held uh, responsible for somebody's death in a workplace accident, um, you know, you, you should be going to jail. Uh, we have a campaign in Ontario the, uh, called Killer Worker Go to Jail. We'd expected that the judge would have at least have considered incarceration, particularly when he said he took into consideration the ability of the employer to pay. Well, if he felt that the employer didn't have the ability to pay the million dollar fine, why didn't he take the fine off the table and, and then use the full force of the law and send a real strong signal to every employer? Now, Sid, when you look at it through another side of the prism, you've got a landmark uh, precedent being set here in that it's the first time an Ontario company has actually been fined uh, money. It's going to have to pay in terms of the death or injury of a worker in Ontario. What does that say? Well, underneath the criminal codes, because we've always had levies and fines underneath the Occupational Health and Safety Act. As a matter of fact, we've had levies that were stronger and higher than what, we, what was levied here today. But you're right in, in the sense that the, uh, the criminal code, this is the first time it's been used in Ontario and used successfully. So there's a bit of uh, some consolation there, I guess, to say that going forward, now employers will know that you can be held criminally responsible and that those charges can stick. So that's good, but still not nearly enough. This man should have gone to jail. Sid Ryan, thanks for your time. Thank you. And Sid will be appearing at around uh, 12, 12, 30, 12.45, with Stephen LeDrew in studio. By the way, the sole owner of that company, Metron, Joel Schwartz, he was also fined $90,000 personally for Ministry of Labor offenses. He was not in court. The surviving victim, that fifth uh, migrant worker, was also not in court. His life will never be the same. And uh, none of the family members were here either. Just too tough for them to be here and relive everything. Back to you. All right, George Lagajanis, thank you so much for that. It is 1117, 27 degrees. This is Toronto's breaking news.